Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I am going to show you how to create a thermometer chart in Excel. A thermometer chart can be used when you want to visualize uh, the actual versus target value in a report or in a dashboard. So here I have this thermometer chart and I have these sales value for these 12 months and I have the target value of 3500. So here my total is 3446 and the target is 3500. So based on this, I calculated the achieved percentage, which is nothing but B14 divided by B15 and the target is 100%. Now using these two values, I have plotted this thermometer chart and this is a dynamic. So if you change any value here, this chart would update in case I come here and I change this value to something like this then this chart automatically updates or if I increase this value to a really high value, you will see that the target has been achieved and I see the complete thermometer meeting 100%. Now notice that if the target has been achieved, overachieved, so here in this case if it is 102.2, it would still show me up to 100% only. So this is a good chart to use when you want to show when the target has been achieved or not and if not then what is the gap. Now let's let me show you how to create this chart. So I have the same data here and I would select this part only. I would go to the insert tab and here in charts group, I would go to this column chart icon and I would insert a 2D column chart. Now in this, when I have selected this chart, you would see that there is chart tools available here and these are two tabs, design and format. These are contextual tabs that are available only when you have selected the relevant object, which is a chart in this case. So I would go to the design tab here and I would click on switch row column. And when I click on it, it'll give me something like this. Now this is the actual value and this is the target value. So I would right click on the target value, the orange bar and click on format data series. It opens the format data series pane here and I would click on secondary axis and see what happens as soon as I do this, it'll combine these two columns into one single column and I get these two axes now here on the left and here on the right. So this is the secondary axis. Now I would go to this left axis here, click on it, right click on it and go to format axis. And in this case, I have these bounds, these values, zero and hundred. So the bottom is zero percent and the top is hundred percent, which is guided by these values here. Now these are automatic. So in case it, if it goes up or down, this would automatically dynamically adjust, but I don't want this. I'd want this to be fixed. So I would manually type zero in here. I know that zero is already there, but you have to manually type this and hit enter so that you see this reset button. And then I would type one here and hit enter, one is equal into 100%. So the range is zero to 100%. Now I can delete this axis here. I would right click on this orange bar, go to format data series. And here I would come to uh, the fill and line part. And here in fill, I would say, I don't want anything to be shown here. I don't want any color to be shown here. So I would make this as no fill. So you can see that I can only see the actual value now, not the target value, which was orange in color. It is gone, but I still want a border here. So I would select solid line and make sure that the color is same as that of the actual value. So now if you look at this chart, it has started to resemble a little bit like a thermometer stick. And now I would delete the grid lines. I would delete the chart title and I would also delete this axis and I can resize this chart so that it looks something like this. And now I would again come back here to this left axis, right click, go to format axis and here in tick marks, I would make this the major tick mark as inside. And when I do this, you can see that now I have these tick marks inside. So this is a good measure to see how much value we have achieved. So this is 80%, this is 70%. I also don't want the outside border of the chart. So I would right click on the chart border, right click, go to format chart area and make the border as no line and make the fill as no fill. So it would be transparent. And now my thermometer chart is ready to use. All you need to now do is add a, a circular shape here. So I would go to insert, go to shapes here. I would select this one, make a circular shape, bring it here. You can adjust the size and I would also 
change the border the line to no line so that there is no border and it looks uh, consistent and continuous so this is the thermometer chart this is ready and if you change anything here you would see that this thermometer chart updates itself to make sure that these values are reflected so this is how you can easily create a thermometer chart in excel now one thing to note here is that it will only show you one value if you have multiple values so multiple targets and multiple achieved values let's say for sales for a company one and company two and company three then you would have to create different thermometer charts and show these differently that's it in this video i hope you found this useful also if you want to get more excel tips and techniques please subscribe to this youtube channel